Hello and welcome to marketing91.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on dynamic pricing. Before we proceed any further, please do note that we publish 3 videos daily on YouTube. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's start with the definition of dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing, also referred to as surge pricing, demand pricing, or time-based pricing, is a pricing method. In it, firms analyze present market demands to fix flexible prices for services and goods. It is a kind of price discrimination. Its goal is to find the best price at any time. Firms can set prices with the help of algorithms. They consider aspects like customers' willingness to purchase an item at a particular time, demand and supply, rival prices, and various external influences on the market. Dynamic pricing is quite popular in many industries. These include public transport, electricity, rail, entertainment, tourism and hospitality. Moving on to the types of dynamic pricing. First, penetration pricing. This is aimed at recent products that have lower prices than the market price. It gets used when firms target a huge market segment to let consumers get used to their products. Prices go up slowly along with rising demand. Next, peak pricing. Over time, a firm might learn that sales of a product or service are seasonal or only rely on rush hours. Usually, this reduces options for customers as no rivals are selling similar products or services. Next, pricing dependent on time. This is a dynamic pricing approach. It is connected to how old a product is or when it was launched in the market. Once new products are launched in the market, older product prices can be reduced to clear out excess stock. And finally, pricing that is segmented. This approach involves setting various prices for similar products although they have similar distribution and production cost. It is aimed at consumers in various locations as is clear from the term segmented. It is employed to generate income in places where customers are not much affected by price changes. So this is most likely a geographic segmentation. Moving on to dynamic pricing advantages and disadvantages. Let's look at the advantages. First, it lets the price show the demand. Next, it increases with demand. third dynamic pricing helps optimizing profits and finally it could lead to increase in sales whereas coming to the disadvantages the very first customers do not favor it customers accept that price change but they hate it when they are targeted by dynamic pricing strategy even though it can be used to save money it is often used to boost the margins of the business instead that means customers feel like they are being overcharged therefore it leads to a second disadvantage that is it loses sales Many customers use the internet to research products or services well in advance of a purchase. If they call, go into a store or browse through the web and a product is priced higher than what they expect, they will just go somewhere else to make their purchase. Thus leading to many customers bucking the system. Savvy shoppers has figured out that dynamic pricing models are often used online. And finally, price conflicts. A business may lower the price of its product which causes its competitor to lower it even further. This process continues until one business reaches a point where they cannot sustain themselves at the artificially low price. Moving on to dynamic pricing and artificial intelligence. Dynamic pricing uses data to understand and act upon any number of changing market conditions, maximizing the opportunity for revenue, says Alex Schatzes, founder and CEO of Perfect Price. Alex says that artificial intelligence and machine-based learning dynamic pricing strategies are usually the best used in situations that deal with a lot of daily transactions. The demand keeps changing and customers are fine with the dynamic price. AI and machine learning get improved solution functionality through extensive data analysis. Moving forward, pricing software that has pricing models using machine learning have these capabilities and features. First, using cluster analysis for customer segmentation at a granular level. Next, multiple variables for the many items are taken into account. For instance, a competitor and attribute based pricing are some of the influencing factors that must be assessed for a price recommendation. External factors like industry trends, seasonality, weather and location are taken into account. Third, KPI based pricing. Businesses can set up a product to align pricing recommendation with performance metrics of interest. For instance, margin, turnover or profit maximization or inventory optimization. Next, Assessing market information in real time minus the complicated rules. It is possible to automatically optimize prices to changing demand and market conditions in real time without specifying complex pricing rules. And finally, measuring the price elasticity. These solutions give users the capability to define price elasticity to predict whether customers will accept a new price before taking a price decision. Next, dynamic pricing in hospitality. Hotels and other hospitality businesses employ dynamic pricing to set room prices. 
packages also rely on supply and demand needs at any given time prices go up in peak season or at the time of special events when it is off season hotel might only ask for what is needed to keep the business going profits and investments are earned when it is the high season moving on 2016 onwards starwood hotels are a part of marriott they employ data analytics to align room cost with present demand in 2014 the company launched its revenue optimizing system it invested upwards of 50 million dollars in it Revenue optimizing system uses both external and internal information. It uses real-time data analytics to predict demand and recommends ideal prices. Looking at the dynamic pricing and the airline industry. Airlines set up prices by profiling the consumers. They categorize flyers into a couple of groups as in leisure or business and pricing for each segment differs. Leisure passengers usually book in advance so airlines tend to start the price for these seats relatively high. It then adjusts the prices according to market response. For typical business routes airlines will start with low price to fill a minimum capacity then increase the prices steeply as corporate passengers tend to book last minute technology has permitted some airlines to design a basic economy fare it has limited amenities to match with the low cost minimal service carriers reduce prices let full service carriers show up on the initial page of google flights and other search engines moving on to an example for airlines and dynamic pricing The airline tariff publishing company gathers and gives out information about fare for airlines worldwide. They have invented a novel strategy for dynamic pricing. It says it will increase the airline's capacity to give passengers customized prices. Dynamic pricing is a method that provides personalized prices to individual based passengers on their flight history. A system for airline booking can identify information like an IP address or browser history to calculate exactly how much a consumer is willing to pay. Moving on to dynamic pricing example Uber Uber is aware that a customer can pay the fare on certain occasions Uber tracks consumer's phone battery and can decide whether they can pay They use dynamic pricing to decide the price Let's see how Artificial intelligence takes into account a lot of data gathered from various sources This algorithm uses factors like number of people requesting rides time of day events etc They can use personal consumer information and historical data to decide what the fare should be If the online action reflects a consumer prefers certain places and times they may ask for more at those times Uber relies extensively on machine learning to establish a robust and reliable dynamic pricing system as stated by the CTO and co-founder at Data Root Labs With the help of machine learning Uber generates a future aware forecast of multiple conditions in the market and uses a system that is very sensitive to external factors These factors ultimately include the global news events weather historical data holidays time traffic etc Data lets Uber predict future prices based on long short term memory networks. It uses deep learning models to make predictions about the future market trends and unaccounted events even before they take place. And finally, dynamic pricing and controversy. Example Uber. Uber surge pricing has been very controversial. In 2013, New York was facing a storm and Uber prices increased 8 folds from the regular prices. This angered citizens and also celebrities. Salman Rushdie and many others criticized this method online. Because of this incident, post 2015, Uber started setting caps that limited surge pricing in times of crisis. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on dynamic pricing. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. If you have liked the video, do subscribe to our channel where you will witness three new videos daily. Additionally, if you want to view these videos in an organized manner, you can visit freecourses.net. where all our videos are arranged in the form of courses thank you and see you in the next video